it's that time of year again when Mama Francoise comes to the Everyday Gourmet Kitchen and we're going to be cooking one of her delicious French recipes. Recipes that I grew up with. Crepe Suzette. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> I love crepe Suzette. And we wouldn't do it every single day, right, Ma? No. It's uh, specifically on the 2nd of February. Mm -hmm. And that's, we call it crepe day. And basically, it's an old tradition that says that if you flip your crepe correctly yep. with the right hand, with a gold cone in the left hand on crepe day, yep. you will be prosperous all year long. So I'll never miss my crepe day. Exactly. Me neither, because <laughs> you really want to flip that crepe well. I would always flip them right, my brothers. Not so Not much. So, much. <laughs> no. so how okay. do we make the crepes? All right, well, we're going to make the batter first. Okay. So I'll get you to do that. If mm -hmm. you can sift the flour... Uh, plain into flour. The plain flour into the bowl. And you make a well... So we sift that. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next, Ma? Okay, so I'm going to make a well. Mm -hmm. It will hold in the middle, and we're going to break the eggs. Okay. Three eggs. Mm -hmm. Three whole eggs. Three whole eggs. Yep. Oh, showing off now. Oh, no. It's been on Everyday Gourmet a few times now. She's an expert egg cracker. <laughs> now, Mark, for those who don't know at home, what are crepes Suzette? What's the flavours of crepes Suzette? Well, it's orange. Mm. Orange. So we can mm. put uh, uh, Grand Marnier, which is the classic orange liqueur, yeah. or curaçao or something like that, mm, mm. and then the zest of an orange. And that will give you a nice orangey taste, which we will um, flavour with the butter. Mm. And then you spread all that on your crepe and it's going to melt nicely yeah. and then we finish it with Grand Marnier and we flambe the crepe. So it's so really French. nice. So it's so French. French. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So what so, are you doing there? Well, I just mix the eggs mm. with the flour. I put the sugar now. Sugar, I'll hold that bowl for you. Okay. Nice. And you can so, see it's a good idea. See how mum's just whisking it slowly and it's just gathering in all the flour and, and it's a good we, idea to do, right? So you yes. like, just don't want lumps everywhere. And then we're going to add a bit of milk at a time if, yeah, if I you can want do that to. For you. Dribble. Right. Okay. And then again, yeah. you're just still slowly, slowly doing it while gathering in the sides. Right. Give me another bit of milk, please. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So it's pretty fast in terms of a recipe mm. to do when you have some guests. You just can prepare your batter. Yeah. You leave it to rest in an hour in the fridge. Mm. Well, it's always better to rest the batter for mm. an hour. Yeah. But if you are in a rush, you can always cook your crepes straight away. Yeah. It's not a problem. Now, yeah. we are going to add the butter. Ah, butter. Melted butter. Yeah, oh, we've got to have some butter in really? your crepe. And then, yes. the final touch, a little drop of Grand Marnier to give it this wonderful orange flavour. Yum. Voila, All that's right. done. So, so now we are going to cover it with some glad wrap. OK. And it goes. And yep. put that in like that. So it's not going to make a horrible skin. Yep. And that's it. And then you leave it in the fridge. You rest Done. for an hour or so. Done. OK, now we're going to do the filling. OK. Well, you are going to mix the filling. All right. <laughs> so you cream the butter mm -hmm. nicely with the icing sugar. Uh, butter and icing sugar yep. together. And there you cream go. that together. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be, so we're going to make our crepes and then we're going to fill it with a yummy flavoured orange butter. Exactly. Ooh, sounds good. Yeah, it, it would be very nice. And then we just slowly bring that together. Yeah. Soften the butter, right? Soften the butter, definitely. You need that, you know, toothpaste consistency yeah. when, when you do that. Toothpaste consistency, that's the right way to explain it, yeah. <laughs> no, it is, because it's kind of like, because if it's too hard, well, it's just not going to mix together. Well, it'd be pretty difficult. Exactly. So you want to make your life a bit easier. OK, oh. so yes, that's coming nicely now. Yep. Very good. So you get your orange. Orange. And then you zest a whole orange. You keep some zest for me uh, for the decoration at the end. OK, there we go. Okay. A bit more? No, yeah, oh, yeah, the whole, the whole oh. thing. And ju just keep a little bit of pinch to put on top. All right, I'll put the pinch in this. Yes. OK, good. OK, so that's done. Mm -hmm. We'll just wait for the batter to be ready and having its nice rest. Mm -hmm. And we are ready to go. Sounds good. All right, so the crepe batter has rested for one mm -hmm. hour and we can mm -hmm. take that off. You can see it's thickened Very up a nice, bit. Yes. I'll just take that glad wrap off. Mm -hmm. And then what's next? Well, we are going to make 
the crepes mm -hmm. and I will try to flip one properly. It's always the first crepe that everyone struggles with, right? That's exactly right, but mm. this one will be for the cameraman, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I think they'll be very happy with that. <laughs> so um, what I'll do is I'll put a little, just a tiny bit of oil and we're going to brush that okay. all over. And we've got a few varieties of crepe pans in our house. We love them because it just makes it so much easier oh, yes. to flip the crepes. All right. Oh, no, let's go. So we spread the batter all over the pan. Yep. You make as thin as possible if you can. Mm -hmm. And then you cook it. It takes probably about not even a minute on each side. Yeah. You know it's ready to turn. See how it's just starting to get a yes. bit slippery? All right, Ma. Oh, Ooh, good one. See, that's not too bad for the first one. Maybe well, we won't. The first one is not too bad. Yeah. Maybe we won't give it to the camera guys. We'll keep oh, it for ourselves. Don't know. <laughs> nah, they can have it. We're going to make a few more of these. We'll make about four for us. Yes. And then we'll start filling them filling with them. this delicious butter. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, our crepes. Are ready to be filled that with our orange flavoured butter. That's pretty good. They're as thin as handkerchiefs, which I know, is the way they should be, right? Yeah. What's next? So you are going to take the equivalent of a teaspoon of um, butter. Okay. And then we're going to spread... On one side of it? Yes, only on, on half of the crepe. Mm -hmm. Just try to spread it without mess. Mm. Yum. So we've got butter, butter in the crepe mixture, yes. and butter then in the filling. <laughs> more butter. And probably more butter. <laughs> Nice, yeah. Such Yum. like so. And then you are going to pass a bit of a marmalade bonne maman. Nice one. And how much would you yeah, like? Uh, yeah, that, that's perfect. Yum. So it's almost like we get a, a double whammy. Of orangey yeah. flavour. It's going to be absolutely mm. beautiful. It's not traditional to add the marmalade, but no, it's but a little Francois's I... modern twist. I exactly. like it. That's right. She can still be modern. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to fold that two so and fold. then yep. another time nice. so that's one let's make a few together i'll do one and one for you there we go mm -hmm. so Ma, you could probably make these ahead of time if you wanted to oh a few hours yes yeah you got guests coming over and you want to serve some yeah you do for... them in the afternoon yep. and then you you wrap them and then uh, when it's the time to serve dessert mm. you fill them in and finish them off nice. so it's nice and it's a, an easy dessert it's absolutely an easy dessert, just full of flavour too. Yeah. So spreading that. I love I love the um, the flavour of orange and um, um, with the Grand Marnier, it mm. really finishes it off so beautifully. Yeah. Now, if you have little kids, you might just s skip the Grand Marnier. Well, you never skip the but... Grand Marnier with little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be worried? No. <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong with a little Grand nothing Marnier. Nothing wrong. And then the okay, last one. Okay, so you one. finish this one, and I will warm up the Grand Marnier. Okay. Right. right, so we finish that and last don't forget one. that. And I will put the crepe. Oh, hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Nice. Oh, and then you make mm. a big crepe. Oh, they fit perfectly in there. Beautiful. Nice. Right. So I guess the idea is they're going to be reheated a second time, form a slight crust, but all of that butter, butter and marmalade is going to melt, melt out. Yes, it's Yum. going to be beautiful. And then that is boiling, the Grand yeah. Manier. Oh, it's melting now, isn't yes, it? Yes, you can see. It's so yeah. nice and melting. Look, the caramel starts to form. It's it is. Beautiful. It's a nice yeah. little caramel. It smells okay. like toffee. And now we're going to flambe, so if you want to do that for me, I'll do, do it. Ready? Oh, beautiful. Ooh. And, and then, then you pour it on the crepe. And we want to make sure that we cook off that alcohol because yes. we don't want a raw flavour. We just want the perfume of it, right? Exactly. And exact. then obviously it's be very careful if you're going to do this at home, right? very well. And then we just pour it over. Oh. Woohoo! It's great. Beautiful. So dramatic. A lot of theatre in the crepe Suzette. <laughs> oh, how good does that smell? Beautiful. Yummo. Now to right. serve it, Ma. We are going to serve. Oops. Beautiful. Oh, look at the butter. And a lot of people would probably put this with a bit of cream or a bit um, of ice cream, yeah. but you don't no, like that, no, do no, you? No, no. <laughs> Not with crepe Suzette. Crepe Suzette doesn't need anything at all. Mm. Right, so that's all done. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of zest on it for presentation. 
If you don't like orange, this is definitely not the dish for you, right? No, exactly. <laughs> all the butter. <laughs> all the butter, I oh, know. Perfect. Just a simple dessert, but it's quite elegant with the flambéing and all the different layers of orange flavours through that. And it's, it's fun to make as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. Very fun. Should I try it? You should try it too, Mark. Of course I will. It's going to be so hot because it's almost like caramel now. Look how caramelised that is on the other side. I know. Just perfect. Mmm. Mmm. So good. No one makes crepes like Mama Francoise. These are delicious. If you haven't tried crepe Suzette before, give it a go. Mum's going to share her recipe. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>